In today's life, everyone is curious about health, and the majority of people emphasize on having good nutritional diets, the diets which contain all supplements to sustain their health. Regular exercise is another thing that is addressed in every session of the well-being of human health and to keep them fit. But researchers believe that there is another thing which is considered to be the third pillar of good health and we normally ignore its importance. What is that? It is proper sleep and sleep experts rank it on the top as they think without sleep there is no use of exercise and proper diet. So the next question is do you sleep well? How many hours of sleep did you get last night? According to the National Sleep Foundation, adults aging between 18 and 64 years should have 7 to 9 hours of sleep to keep them healthy and progressive. Less than a threshold of 7 hours will have adverse health effects. On the other hand, older people should have 7 to 8 hours of sleep. People who identified as night owls are at high risk of death. In the UK, they are at 10 times higher risk of premature death. They were found to have more chances of cardiovascular diseases, cancers, colds, depression and psychiatric illness. The research has shown that most of these people have shown less performance and responsiveness. It is the sleep that not only makes you healthy and fit but also removes toxins from your body. These toxins build up in the body due to the consumption of food and they are flexed out during sleep as the rate of flow of cerebrospinal fluid increases up to 24. The metabolic system has also been affected as sleep reduces hunger and inadequate sleeping makes you hungry all the time and you eat more as your granular hormone level increases with less sleep and it will decrease the level of leptin which is a satisfying hormone and it will cause obesity. People who have a sleep less than 7 hours and more than 9 hours have developed obesity problems. They are 30 times more at risk of getting obese. Sleep is associated with glucose metabolism. Less sleep also interferes with the effectiveness of insulin production and its release. Deprivation of sleep causes an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases. Research has shown that a person who has inadequate sleep has a risk of calcification of coronary arteries in which calcium deposits in arteries and makes them hard and hinders with oxygenated blood supply to heart and results in heart attack. Another alarming effect is on gastrointestinal system as sleep dysfunction has resulted in gastrointestinal diseases peptic ulcers, liver failure, and inflammatory bowel disease. Lack of sleep causes immune system dysfunction as your immune system will decrease antibodies production. The immune system is positively correlated with sleep. Lack of sleep will interfere with T cells and cytokine production. T cells help in B cells activation to produce antibodies while S cytokines have anti-inflammatory functions and they reach their peak during sleep. Lack of sleep affects skin and eyes as dark circles appear under the eyes. Less sleep causes the excessive release of stress hormone called cortisol, which has antagonizing effect on collagen production. Collagen is a protein which ensures smoothness and elasticity of skin. The level of growth hormone release is also at its maximum during sleep which is necessary for tissue growth and repair. In addition to its benefits on our society, modern technology has its own contribution in affecting our sleep. Electricity exposure at night and excessive use of computers, video games and mobile phones proved as icing on a cake. People of all ages get used to these gadgets and even in bed they use mobile phones. The absence of light sends a signal to the brain and that it is time to rest. However, exposure to light at a wrong time interferes with the body's internal sleep-wake cycle. Too much exposure to artificial light before bed causes depression and disturbance in sleep. So the next question is how we can manage our sleep and sleeping habits. Try to make your body get used to consistent sleep and for that discipline is the main key. Try to keep your sleep schedule the same throughout the weekdays and then the weekends. You have to program yourself and then maintain that discipline. At night, try to keep your room dark to make no exposure to light so that your brain gets signals of sleep. 
keep away all your gadgets and make sure there is no consumption of coffee and energy drinks in the evening. So take care of yourself and your sleep as well. Like other things, there is no compensation for sleep. Once you missed, you never can get back. Thanks.